Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I'm joined with the lovely Kenzie. <laughs> Hello! I am so glad to be back once again. And I'm actually really excited for this fanfic because guess what it's all again? It's fucking Tessa Alley! <laughs> yep! Woohoo! I, Let's go. I love these lesbians, they're so Me great! <laughs> they're awesome! I'm so excited for this one. I love how, like, for like any of the ships that I've read with, like, you and other friends, for some reason, my headcanons, like, how, how I always, like, headcanon them, is always, like, one is strictly, like, liking the, the same gender, and the other yeah. person is, like, bi. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it has always been like that for every ship that I've ever read, and this one's no exception, because I'm pretty sure, like, one of them is headcanon to be bi and the other one's pan, or, like, yeah. lesbian, and so, like, you yeah. know what? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I believe the one that you picked out is a prequel to the, the Tessinale book that we read. <laughs> uh-huh. And it, it it's, is. it's the Christmas one that was referenced in the book, so we finally get to figure yes. out what happened during Christmas time. <laughs> yes. I uh, figure out the key. Now, the original story is in Spanish, unfortunately, so none of us yeah. can read Spanish, let alone understand what they're saying. So, right. Kenzie was lucky enough to translate this whole thing for us, but I will have the, the original link down below for you guys to read if you guys do speak Spanish. Yes. But, um, but for now, we're gonna read on this Google Doc that, that we have. Yep. Do the best we can. Yep. Alright, Tessex Alley, Camp Disventure, Inspired Fan Fiction Christmas Special. Alright, so, I believe the last time we picked characters and then we read for them, because this reads like a script, so... Yeah. Was I- was I Alley? Yeah, yeah, you were yeah I was Alley. Okay. Do you want to be Crystal, then? Until more characters show up. Um, sure. Okay, and I'll I'll, I'll play narrator on this one. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with today. <laughs> after the seventh episode of Miss Venture Camp, after the Awatic uh, challenge, and after the unfortunate farewell of our dear Tess, our main character Ali felt very alone, despite the company of her friend and crush Hunter, and she wants mm -hmm. to ask Crystal for a favor. Now that the holiday season has finally arrived, Ali approaches Crystal's control room and wants to ask her for something. Crystal, are you here? Oh, Crystal, it's a prize. Ali, what the hell are you doing here? Sorry to bother you. I just came here to ask you for a favor. Give me one good reason not to expel your, your sorry ass before the next episode right now. It's just... Gets nervous. The holiday season is coming up, and tomorrow will be Christmas Eve, and then it'll be Christmas end. I listen. Oops, I oop. <laughs> okay, fixed. <laughs> okay, good. I, I like to spend some time with my best friend Tess these two days because I think the bond she and I made in the challenge before and the last one is so strong that I can't stand see I can't stand seeing her without me anymore. And Aww. I like to know that if you can help me to make that a reality. You know what, Ali? What you're asking me is very risky. I should kick you out this championship right now. Ali is shocked. <laughs> <gasps> but you just reminded me of the immense love I felt I felt for this time. When I was very young, I loved Christmas very much, and I never imagined that this love would would, would find me when you told me that that when you told me that and your enormous friendship for Tess and Hunter. So yes, Ali, I'm going to help you get through these days with Tess. But but let this be the first and last time you ask me for favors. You understand? Yes, I understand. And thank you very much, Crystal. I'm going to wait for you at the bus stop first thing tomorrow. Now go to sleep. Yes, Crystal. Meanwhile, at night, inside the cabin. Oh god, Hunter's here. <laughs> Oh no, not Hunter! Shall I read for Hunter? <laughs> or shall oh, sure. I? Okay. Oh. Okay. Hey, Allie. What did you want to see Crystal for? I wanted to ask you a favor, Hunter. Which one? Do you promise you won't tell anyone? 
We're at a disadvantage since Tess is gone. Since Tess is gone, Allie. We can't trust anyone anymore. Believe me, I won't tell anyone. It's good Freak. that you- Yeah, he's <laughs> a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hunter hate club. <laughs> yes, hunter slander. That's good that you mentioned Tess because I asked her to spend- Wait. Because I asked her to spend these Christmas days with her. Really? And how did you- and how did she take it? Not so good at first. And then she came to- wait. Then he came to his senses because- oh, I think this because it's supposed to be she. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the, trans no. the translator messed up. <laughs> Not so good at first, and then she came to her senses because she realized she used to love Christmas too. But don't worry, Hunter, you'll be in a, you'll be in good hands. I hope so because, like I said, we can't trust anyone here anymore. You're the one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Hunter, and re and rest. Also, Allie, and take good. Also, Allie, and take good care of yourself. The next morning at the bus stop. Okay. Oh, there's more characters. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll read for I'll I'll read for Rhea if that helps. Okay. And I guess Allie. Aiden. Oh. Okay. Allie, where are you going? Girls, I don't mean to be rude, but this is none of your business. Allie, if it's okay with Tess, we're really sorry. Really. Relax, I'll be gone for a couple of days. I'll be back. Okay. Allie, hurry up. Don't make me regret. See you around and take out our hunter while I'm gone. Take it for granted. Wait. Okay, take it for granted, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crystal's car leaves the camp with Allie inside. I thought she got on a bus, but it's okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> did, did you know about this hunter? I have no idea, but I need some alone time, okay? Some, something tells me that Aiden- that Aiden didn't know about this. <laughs> Maybe, but we better give him his space. Meanwhile, Al Chris- Crystal and Allie arrive at the apartments where Tess is staying. According to me, this is the address where Tess is. Well, well, you know, well, you know, I'm going to pick you up in 48 hours, and I'll give you a loan of money, and you'll pay me back later. Yes, Crystal. See you in two days. Gets out of Crystal's car. <laughs> Oops, shit, I moved down too much. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Allie goes, see a up Allie goes see apartment where she finds Tess and knocks on the door. Whoever you are, get out. Tess? It's me, Allie. Opens the door in a surprise. Allie? What happened with you? And what are you doing here? I wanted to see you. But, I don't understand. How did you get here? Crystal brought me. Really? Yeah, let's just say there's some good in, good in her. Well, I don't know that, Allie. Is this where you live, Tess? Let's just say, yes. It's not much, but it's what I pay for each month's rent. It looks very pretty. It just needs some decoration. Well... Now now you can tell me what you're really- Well, now can you tell me what you're really doing here? Well, it's just that today is Christmas Eve and tomorrow will be Christmas and I like to spend these days with you. Christmas? Haven't heard of that, that in a long time. Tess? Have, haven't you never celebrated Christmas before? No, Ali. I've always heard of Christmas on occasion. But all my childhood, I lived in I lived in an orphanage, and we never celebrated Christmas. Although the word sounds very nice. Oh, oh! I just yeah, she is an orphan. Oh my god, that's that is sad. That's really sad. <laughs> and it is. Do you want me to teach you in my time with you? Sure, no problem. Meanwhile, Allie and Tess hit the streets and show her what people do at parties these days. Ooh, as, you, nice. as you can see, Tess, people put up decorations in their houses and businesses, and mostly in the streets. Nowadays, people show their positive side at Christmas time. Well, I knew about the pine trees, about Santa Claus and the gifts too, 
But I don't understand why there are people who spend their time skating, skating on ice without knowing that it can be light. Well, that's just a hobby, and the ice is thick and it will break. How, how would we know? Have you ever skated? No, never. Would you like to try it? Yeah, okay, I'd love to. Allie and Tess walk over to the frozen lake, and Allie puts on some skates to show Tess how it's done. Look, Tess, the key to skating is to have good balance and to move forward. You have to do it from one leg to another. Just watch me do it. Okay? Allie starts ice skating and does- what the fuck does that say? Uh, Peru? I think it says pirouettes. Per pirouettes. Thank god you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I would've just said, does spins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Does pirouettes to impress Tess. Tess herself. Wow. She really is amazing. See? It's fantastic. Come and try it. Okay. Tries to skate on the ice and falls. Ouch! Oh no. Are you alright, Tess? Yeah, I just fell. It was nothing. Oh, I forgot to tell you that some people fall while ice skating. Come on, I'll help you. Allie holds out her hand to, to pick Tess up so they can skate together. Just do what I do, like this. Where did you learn to skate like that, if I may know? When I was little, my grandfather taught me. Everything I know I learned from him. In skating and even in video games. Do you remember what I told you about my Player 2 tattoo? I do remember your tattoo, Allie, very well. You want to eat something? I invite. Sure, Tess. And I got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Allie and Tess went to a nearby pizzeria, and after eating, they just started talking for a while about the camp. How I miss eating pizza. Camp food sucks. <laughs> Don't remind me. Tell, tell me, Allie, how are things at camp now that I'm gone? To be honest, it's hell now that you're not at camp. Hunter can't stop thinking about you, and I haven't stopped crying. Aww. Things- Oh, what the- Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> right? Things- Things turned ant colored? Okay. Yep, things turned ant colored. Now that we have two against Rosa, Lake, and Rhea, Aiden, and James. At this rate, Hunter or maybe I will have the same fate as you, Tess. I don't know where the ant-colored thing is from. <laughs> I don't know either, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> ant-colored. Okay. Okay. I was afraid something like this would happen. Hey, Tess. What- What have- What- Oh, fuck. Hold on. What you t What you told me in Hunter, did you know something like this was gonna happen? Be honest, please. Yes, Sally. I figured I would be the next one out, but I never thought anyone would vote for you. Don't worry. That's something I shouldn't worry about. Maybe yes. Something it- I mean, someone is targeting you and you have to find out who it is. You're right. Plus, you still deserve to be there more than me. Even more than me. But even so, your parting hurts a lot. I will not- I I will not lose my faith in- I will- I will not use my faith in you. Or Hunter. Aww. Tess gets up and puts the money on the table. Would you like to go for a walk with me? Sure, Tess. Allie and Tess, after eating, went to the forest with a lake in front of it, and they talked again. Oh, another lake! <laughs> oh, nice. Another lake date. Yep. Hey Tess, why did you bring me here? Before I go to camp and meet you- Before I go to camp and meet you and Hunter, when, when, when something goes wrong, I always come here to reflect. I see. You used to do that in camp too, right? Yes, Sally. Allie and Tess sit together and look at the lake. I love me a good lake date. <laughs> I am here. I'm just like- That's so nice. <laughs> I'm- like, there's two images in my head for this. Like, one's a very romantic, like, a lake, sunset, nice, like, forest trees, them sitting, and then the other one yeah. is, like, silly of, like, them looking at a picture of lake. <laughs> like, oh, their yeah. contestant friend. <laughs> <Right here. laughs> 
Hey Tess. Tell me. Do you do you still think that you're a mess? I don't know, Allie. I've been so rude to you and Hunter and and, and what they and what they wanted was to help me and and that's why I feel really bad and no matter how much I try to make it in, I always make it worse. Tess, listen to me. Never Wait. <laughs> I feel like this is wrong. <laughs> Wait, Tess, listen to me. Never come back. You're a mess. You've made mistakes and you're always a rem remedy. You're a beautiful <laughs> person both inside and out. I feel like that was a backhanded compliment. <laughs> you're like, listen to me. You're a <laughs> absolute mess. <laughs> Never come- Yeah, it does kind of sound like that. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I think she fumbled her words. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't even. I uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks out. Al thanks, Allie. <laughs> but that time, I, but the time, I, but that time I yelled at you at the cave. I never should have, really. Don't worry about it anymore. Plus, I figured it, I would have to figure out most. Wait. Don't worry about it anymore. Plus, I have- I should have figured it must have been a symptom of your depression. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I want to end this disease, and Allie, I need all your help and hunters to do it. I know you can. Hey, I forgot to tell you how much you were attractive in your bathing suit. I mean, she oh, is pretty hot. Oh, yeah, she- <laughs> I mean, she is pretty hot in her bathing suit. Don't get- I mean- don't get me wrong. Not gonna lie. Hey, we all have our types. Uh, mine's green-haired people. Uh, apparently, and Kenzie's is uh, my, goth women. <laughs> not so, not so, yeah. yeah. Except for Gwen, but other yeah. than that. <laughs> <laughs> Flushes and chuckles. Enough. Don't say that. Seriously, how do you manage to stay in such great shape? I like to stay healthy and keep my figure. And I think you look very beautiful in your bathing suit, too. <laughs> Thanks. Blue is my favorite color. I figured. Looks up. Allie, what is that? That wasn't there before. Allie also looks up. Oh, it's a mistletoe. Another Christmas tradition. What, what are you doing? Sorry, it's the magic of mistletoe. It's, it's that it makes you feel more attracted to another person. You know, it was easier to explain instead of kissing me. When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Wait, that's- when did you kiss her? What, what are you talking about, girl? I, oh, I guess when Tess asked what she's doing, I don't know why they didn't write it oh. in. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> You're telling me that the, the, like, the sequel to this one, they straight up put a sex scene at the end, but you're not gonna tell me when they kiss each other? <laughs> right? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, you're right, Tess. Stands up. Do you want me to buy some gifts for us? <laughs> I, 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 that. I, I would love Ali, but, but I don't. I would, I would love Ali, but I would, I would love Ali, but I, but I don't have enough money. I only have enough to eat and pay the rent. Don't worry. Crystal gave me a load of money. But what she doesn't know is that it's to buy a special gift for you. It's going to kill you, but I'm so glad. But I'm so glad what you do for me. I think she meant Crystal, but it put, but the translator yeah. said it's instead. So <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, as long as it's for a good cause. Are you coming? Yes. Here I go. Gets up and plucks the mistletoe and puts it in her pocket. She's just taking shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> At nightfall, Allie and Tess went to the market to buy some presents for Christmas Day. But they had to do it separately so they wouldn't ruin the surprise. I was just thinking that. I'm like, how are you going to go to the market together and buy gifts for one another? Just right? be like, hey, do you like this? And then we'll just wrap it and then they give it to him for Christmas. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, Tess. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, Tess, we have to split up to get our gifts. I'll go that way and you go over there, okay? 
Yeah, Allie. And then we go back to the apartment. We we've gone for so long. Sure, Tess. No problem. See you there. They both split up to look for gifts. Later, she sees an orange sweatshirt like the one she's wearing around her waist, and she was thinking about buying it for Allie. I'm sure Allie will like it. Takes the sweatshirt takes the sweatshirt to the counter to buy it. Excuse me, miss. I want to buy the sweatshirt as a gift and a, fa and a favor. Takes off the mistletoe. Put, put this in the bottom of the box as a gift. Aw, that's cute. That's so cute! Ah, I love it. Both reunited and the presents are wrapped and ready to return to Tess's apartment. Hi Tess, you had to, you had to choose a black present, right? It should mean a lot coming from me. True and, though. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> what did you buy? If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise anymore. You know. Yeah, I know. I was just bugging you. <laughs> I should have guessed. You're so funny, Allie. I don't know. Ready to go home? Yes, I can't take the cold anymore. That's always how winter is in Canada. True. Allie and Tess, with their Christmas presents in hand, return to Tess's apartment, ready to spend more time together. Well, Tess, what would you like to do? The night is young, and it's Christmas Eve. Take her into take her antidepressant pill. I don't know, Allie. I really like Christmas, but I haven't celebrated Christmas Eve before. Just fucking just be popping pills, just right <laughs> on the regular. Just like yeet. <laughs> don't worry, Tess. I'll explain. We eat turkey and then we watch some Christmas movies. If uh, you have turkey, right? No, turkey is very expensive, and my budget is very short. And my budget is very short. In addition to the fact that my psychologist asked me to join Camp Campamento Misadventura, Miss I'm guessing that's a Spanish translation of Misadventure Camp. Yeah. To do other types of activities. I also remembered that I needed money to settle ma many accounts. I'm so sorry about what happened to you, Tess. Don't worry, Allie. That that had to happen sooner or later. Plus. Plus, I still know that both you and Hunter still deserve to win. No, Rhea deserved to fucking win. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> she was so robbed. Absolutely, she was. Justice for Rhea on that one. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I know. Even though things were difficult for me and Hunter without you, you were sorely missed. Okay. Hey, she says okay. <laughs> 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 All right, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You brought your console, right? Shows her console. Yeah, I always bring it. Figured. I I just thought that after eating spaghetti, we could play a game. Plus, you owe me. Remember? You're getting really good at Smash Bros. You should consider me your mentor after all. You can bet the apprentice will surpass the master. <laughs> I also brought something to celebrate Christmas. Takes out a few- Where the fuck did she get beer? Beer? <laughs> what? Where'd she pull that out of? <laughs> I think she might have got that with the loan that Crystal gave her. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal is going to cut your head off. <laughs> she said it's a loan. I'll pay her back later when I put the money together with part of the million I plan to earn. Okay. I guess a beer. I guess a beer or two would have hurt. Plus, I was. Plus, that. Okay, why am I laughing? Plus, I was a smoker and got both nipples pierced before I met you. What? <laughs> <laughs> that one caught me to a surprise too. Wow, okay. Tess, you are full of surprises. <laughs> she sure is. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Right. After eating spaghetti, drinking beers, and after playing a couple of games of Smash Bros, Tess and Allie are very exhausted, and later in the night, Tess wakes up to try to get Allie to wake up. Wait, wait, wakes up exhausted and yawns. Allie, Allie, get up! Wakes up exhausted too. Tess? Hey, what day is it today? December 25th. Well, it's Christmas, and it's 1 a.m. So tiring. Time goes by fast, right? Well, it seems that way. Come, I'll take you to my room. 
carries Allie by the arm and takes her to her room. I oh, thought they meant bridal style for a minute. Me too. I was like, so whoa. <laughs> Damn it, the romance. I need it. Right. <laughs> Do you bring a sleeping mat or something for me to sleep in comfortably? That won't be necessary, Allie. You can sleep with me in bed. Oh, okay, the romance Ooh. is not dead yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> There's still a possibility of romance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, Tess, I don't want to be a bother. You're not. You're, you're not. You're just my guest. Remember when we fell asleep in the same bed with Hunter together? Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Well, I want to sleep with you. I, I want. Well, I want you to sleep with me in my bed. It's also very spacious. Thank you, Tess. You're a great friend. So are you, Allie. And, and I really appreciate you coming here and all you did for me. Allie and Tess fell fast asleep and hugged each other to keep warm. And when Christmas morning came, they both got up and started exchanging gifts. That's cute. I like the imagery I got from that. Oh yeah, same here. Good morning, Tess. Merry Christmas. Hi, Allie. And Merry Christmas, too. Well, Tess, it's time for presents. Do you want to start, or me? You better start. I prefer to be polite. Okay. Takes the blue gift and gives it to Tess. For my best friend, open it. Opens Allie's gift. It's a jean, ja it's a, it's a jean jacket like the one you're, like the one you are wearing. Yeah, I just wish you just have one just like it, but there's more. Tess pulls out a heart-shaped necklace <gasps> from the gift. A necklace? It's more than a necklace. It's a pendant, and you can put pictures of me or in you in there if you want. Oh, it's a locket! Yes! Tess hugs Allie lovingly. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Allie. No problem, Tess. Now can you give me? Now you can give me your present. Sure. Take the black gift to give to Allie. For my best friend in the whole world and the one I always wanted and needed by my side. That's romantic as fuck. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Opens Tessa's present. It's an orange sweatshirt like the one you're wearing around your waist. Man, they just got each other like, here's like some like exactly what I wear usually. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> With some extra stuff, of course. Yeah. That's right. Th that's right. But but if you like, you can you you you, you, you yeah. But if you like, you can wear it or wear it around your waist, basically just like me. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else in the gift. Takes out the mistletoe that Tess uprooted in the woods. Is that the same mistletoe we found in the woods? Exactly. It's just when you kissed me yesterday, I actually felt something very strong, but at the <gasps> same time. Something very special towards you, Allie. Let's fucking Woo! go. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting great. It's just so romantic. Let's <laughs> fucking go. I love this book. <laughs> yes, same. So good. Tess, I know what I said about how I feel about Hunter, but you are very special to me, too. Thank you very much for such a beautiful gift. Would you like to kiss me again? Absolutely. I mean, yes, Tess. <laughs> yes. Besides, I would like to. I actually wanted to. Allie, seeing you once again, seeing you once again is the best Christmas present I have I have received so far. Oh. Stop. This is too sweet. And and Tess, coming to see you one more time has also been the best Christmas gift. Oh my God, they're being cute. I can't. Right, I can't either. Oh god. This is too much for my little heart. Same. Tess <laughs> blushes with joy. Ow Owie, I I think I like you. I I really like you too, Tess. <laughs> Allie and Tess get closer and then passionately kiss. And <laughs> Oh, that was awesome! This is the best fucking one shot of Tess and Allie I've ever read. Same. <laughs> and no sex scene! Yay! Yeah, yeah, let's go! <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, that was so good. This, the, I, this is the best one we've ever. Uh, well, the the sequel was pretty good. The only thing I would take yeah. out for the sequel is the sex scene. But yeah, like, it's... other than some like some errors about like the the translation, uh, this this was a solid read. I oh, still yeah. I don't this know what really I still don't know what about uh, the ant colored was, but. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the fuck Spanish word did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Oh god. Well, I- I- I'm loving the shipping more. These two guys are so cute. People need yeah. to write more fanfiction about these two. Yes, if, please. If you are a fanfiction writer and you do love Tess and Allie, I need you to write a book. It needs to be, uh, at least, uh, 600 pages. Uh, yes, please. I'm begging. <laughs> just rewrite the entirety of this venture camp, but they get together at the end. That's yes, the only thing that changes. I am begging you to do that, please. <laughs> People. I, I need this in my life. There needs to be more of this ship. Yes, say, I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah. They're so underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know why, though. Yeah, me, ne me neither! Well, I guess if you want, like, to read this, um, <laughs> I don't know how if you guys can read Spanish or not, but I'll have the original link down below, so please support the original author. Uh, they make great work. They made the, the sequel and then this Christmas special. Don't they have one more Tessinale thing? Yeah, they do. Alright. Um, also, I just remembered. Because, <laughs> like, I got, like, the last two people I've been recording with, I, they don't have the wheel right now, so I forgot to pull up the wheel. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of, uh, of recording Wattpad videos is, uh, spinning the wheel to see how fucked we are for the next recording. <laughs> Yeehaw. Alright, as long as it doesn't land on Test and Alley, we'll read it, because we don't want to do repeats here. So, uh, I... <laughs> Let's see what we land on! Please be something good. Yeah, like if a Duncan X Alejandro? Gone, I'm so... Wait, wait, really? Wait, really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I said it as a joke! <laughs> I was like, yo, let's land on Duncan X Alejandro, that would be pretty cool for a recording. <laughs> Every time you put it in joke, it always lands on it. Yeah. Did you hear me say it, like, during the spinning? I'm like, dude, it should land on Duncan. <laughs> I did. Oh my god. I mean, we do have the book for it. We do have a yeah, book for it, so. I cannot wait to read it. <laughs> it's funny. Thanks. Oh God. I didn't think those two would be a ship, but you know what? People are down bad in several ways. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If, if I learned anything from reading Zosan, uh, people are just down bad. Yes, Not, absolutely. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yep. Oh God. Well, I guess the next time uh, Kenzie is on the screen in uh, future videos, it, it might be a Duncan X Alejandro. You might just have to read the title, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I cannot <laughs> wait for that. That's gonna be funny. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Do we, what, I don't even remember the plot of the book. Like, like the description Neither. or anything. I'm guessing it takes place during World Tour. Yeah. Or like a high school AU? I don't know. Probably. We'll f we'll figure it out. We'll, <laughs> we'll laugh. Yeah. We'll cry. We'll ship. Yep. <laughs> and we'll die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. But uh, anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix. This is Kenzie, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> yep. All right. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>